Hey guys, Trev here from Norwood Sawmills. I want to talk to you about how to choose the right sized machine for what you're doing. What you want to consider is the diameter of what you're using. All the mills use a number on them, or most of them use a number on them, and that's what explains the diameter of size that they're capable of cutting. It doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to be the right machine for you because our LM29, yes, it does cut a 29, but if you're going to be cutting 22 inch diameter trees, all day long, I'm going to recommend that you move to a bigger machine because like any piece of equipment, when you start working near the top end of its ability, things get a little more difficult, things get a little more cumbersome, and it's unnecessarily harder when it's already something that's hard to do. So keep in mind that most mills, I think their advertised size, they're comfortable up to about 70% of that. And yes, they'll do bigger but it starts getting a lot more difficult because you're reaching the edges of its boundaries. And then that falls into play on what's the duty of that machine. So if you're a guy that's going to use your machine, you know, every other weekend or 10 or 12 times a year, you're not going to be in the same category as the guy that's using his machine three or four days a week for eight hours a day. So let that try and help you figure out which might be the right machine. Keep that in mind. Look at how heavy it is. Uh, look at the weight of some of these logs that you want to cut. Look at the diameter, look at the length. Uh, there's all kinds of uh, schematics that are available to give you that chart. We have an app uh, that'll help you if you want to download that. Um, the next thing you want to look at is horsepower. Horsepower is key. Um, and I always tell guys that more horsepower, better. And the easiest way to kind of look at that is, so the LM29, for instance, starts with a 14 horse motor and it'll do it. It'll cut right up to the biggest log with that 14 horse motor. But by no means, if you put that same log on the HD36 with 23 horse, I think you can kind of realize the difference there in, in speed and maybe results in the cut. So keep in mind, diameter, how often you want to cut, horsepower, um, bigger log, more horsepower, you can't go wrong, and hopefully that'll help you out going down the road.